color is one very important graphic design element that we must know how to use correctly in fact of all elements that make a visual design color is perhaps the most vital and influential as designers we use color selectively to create balance harmony and consistency my name is Akiyade Adetunji and today I'm going to be teaching you how to pick colors from an image and use it on your design project to create a pleasing solution. So without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. Alright, so this is the image that we are going to be using today and I'm going to be picking my colors from this image. We are going to design a TV talk show using this um, image and the frame size for this project is 800 by 800 pixel and um, my resolution is 100 because I'm acting like this is going to be on social media so I decided to use less resolution for it okay so let's start so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to make a pattern because my background looks too flat and um, sorry pardon me if my pattern is not looking too perfect but I just want you guys to understand how you know to pick colors from your image we have a lot of colors on this image so we don't need to go to any third party website to pick the colors anymore I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna call this layer colors okay and I'm gonna select my brush tool and this time I'll go to the brush settings and go to the brush tip and make sure I'm on this I'm on the um, hard brush and I'm gonna turn off transfer for now because what I'm about to do now is not going to work with transfer right and I'm gonna hold on hold and pick a color from um, my you know model here so I'm gonna just pick um, this shade of color and I'm gonna click pick another color again this time I'm gonna pick this shade of um, green and I'm gonna click like so and I'll go again and uh, for now uh, let's just pick this red okay I'm gonna pick this red and I'm gonna click this here like so then I'm gonna hide my character like so and then I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush and I'll make my smooth be on 59 because I'm using a graphics tablet but if you don't have a graphics tablet uh, you can try your mouse and right? so I'm gonna pick the shade of color and so I'm holding on alt as I click and I'm going to just draw a triangle like so close it like so close it like so and for the point here and I'm gonna draw actually making it perfect may not you know make this look interesting all right and I'm gonna make excuse me I'm gonna just draw the shape here and I'm going to just close it like so and I'm gonna add another point here all right oh I mistakenly drew this on the um, color layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a marquee shape like so and I'm gonna hit ctrl shift and J for Windows users but if you're a Mac user what you just need to do is to hold on command shift and J and you are gonna get the same move all right so what I just did now is to cut this um, drawing out from the color layer and if I hide the pattern layer now you see that I have just, just only the pattern on that layer and I'm going to make this visible again and now I'm going to call this pattern then I'm going to make a copy of this alright then I'm going to um, use my move tool and just move this here make a copy again and move this here like so then we can even scale it down let's scale it down like so now I'm gonna make a copy again and just move this here make a copy and move this here like so so I'm gonna merge everything now with ctrl E so I have them as one um, layer and I'm gonna make a copy of this and move this down he bring out the free transform right click and select rotate 180 and I'm gonna move this up about this point then I'm gonna go to the effects button here and choose color overlay all right then i'm gonna come here and pick um this all right so the reason why i'm not gonna use red is because red is one color that uh, you know call for attention 
a lot so because i want this pattern to be my background so i'm going to use i'm not going to use red so i'm going to use green and i'm going to select the okay button and select the okay button now i'm going to make a copy of this again and i'm going to drag this here now i'm going to make my uh, model visible and this should be above all the layers and i'm going to position her here i and i like this i'm going to hide the color maybe we should even delete that but not don't let us delete it i'm still going to use it so i'm going to hide that and i'm going to put um the patterns in a group i'll call this patterns because this lady here is not the anchor so we need to find a way to you know take her face out so as to not to create um, what i call distraction i'm going to click on the adjustment tab and i'll look for black and white here and i want this to apply to just only uh, the model so i'm going to click on the clipping mask icon i'm going to hit control high on my keyboard to reverse the mask and i'm going to select the quick selection tool and i'm just going to increase the size of the brush and i'm going to select just only the face all right just the face like here all right um, so I'm going to hold on Alt because I actually want the color part of the earring. So I'm just going to take the earring out. So I'm holding on Alt now. Reduce the size of my brush and hold on Alt again. And hold on Alt and just take this part out. Okay, so let's take the side out like so. Let's see if I can just take it out from here. This side. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, you know, let me just take this side out. Okay, so I'm going to hold on Alt because my foreground is already set to white. So I need to apply my foreground color to the mask of the black and white. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click on Backspace. Now you see that the face of our character now is now um, black and white. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is still on the layer. I'm going to select the layer of my model. Maybe we should just give it a name so as to make you guys get what I'm trying to do here easily so I'm going to go to filter and select filter gallery all right then on my filter gallery option here I'm going to select the paint dub and I'm going to just you know let's see if we play with the brush here actually one part of the I still want the face to be a little bit visible so when doing this you need to be very very careful all right I don't want to be able to see the lips the nose and the eye okay so this is good then i'm going to select the ok um, button and the um other thing i'm going to do again now is to go to filter and select stylize and select oil paints my stylize is going to be 1.7 cleanness is going to be 1.1 scale is going to be 0 0.8 and my breeze tool is going to be 10.0 and i'm going to select the ok button now i still want that red part of the scarf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in i'm going to select the brush tool and i'll go to the brush tip and make sure i'm on this the hard brush and i'm going to select the mask of the black and white reduce the brush size and i'm just going to add that back to the now sorry i need to switch this to black and i'm going to add this back to my scene like so all right so just gonna do back like so. All right, so this is good. So in order to make this pop more, I can even add, um, you know, huge saturation to this, and I'm gonna increase the saturation and just crank this down. Looks like so. Yeah. So now I'm gonna draw a shape. All right. So I'm gonna draw a shape here, like so. And draw a shape like so. So because the information I'm going to put here is something I you know want to use to draw people's attention, so I'm going to change the color. I mean the fill color to um, red. So I'm going to make this visible, and I'll pick this red, and I'm going to just push this up a bit. So you can still tweak the value of the color. All right. So I'm going to click on the OK button now and we have um, this um, right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 
back to my shape tool and select the round rectangle tool here and make a layer and I'm just going to draw a rectangle shape like so alright then curve is too much and I'm going to just make that 7 alright then I'll change the color of this to white and I'm going to um, move this up like so I'm going to use my pen tool to just draw a shape here the talking balloon illustration so I'm just going to close this like so all right so I can even move this up like so then it's time for me to bring in my text so I'm going to copy the talk show and I'll paste it okay make this bigger just select the text and I'm gonna use um, Eero black extended just a little move to and just scale this down like so and I'm going to just move this here and I'll change the color of this to white and make this TA the color of the background, all right? The color of the shape, like so. And I have um, this, and I'll select the date and time. I'll select text to and just paste it. Let's scale this big, like so, and just position this here. And change the color of this to white. And um, so I don't want this to I don't want this to share the same weights with the talk show. So I'm going to change the the weight of the font to Euro regular extend. All right. So uh, I'm going to add a little bit of tracking to this. Okay. And I'm just going to show this here and add a row. I'll select the pen tool again and change this to no fill make this white and make this um, let's say 3 and I'm just going to draw a line here like so and I'm just going to move this close and um, so for the line we can even make it um, let's make the width of the line maybe um, 2 Okay, and this should be like so. And I'm gonna hide this, and I'm gonna drag the logo. All right, so I got this lo logo from Google, so you can also get the logo from there if you wish to. All right, so I'm just gonna scale this down, move this here, and so this is acting like the logo of um, the TV station. So I'm just going to paste the text like so and change the color to black since we have black as part of the color on the scarf and I'm going to just scale this big like so and move this here okay you can even make use the um, bolt let's make this bolt so I'm going to use black little black extend and this here Okay, um, so let's change the fonts. I actually want something more funky, so I'm going to use um, Boink LED and I'm going to close the tracking a bit more and close the leading like so. And I'm going to add, um, I'll make a copy of this and just add TV. So then I'll take away the tracking. Like so, push this up. Like so, all right. Yeah, this is good. Um, so just in case you want to give your client two options, um, you can make a cup, you can make a layer, all right, and you know just pick a color from the project and make this a little bit darker, all right. And I'm going to hold on Alt and fill this with um, the color. Um, you know, you can even add stroke to this so as to split the character from the, um, you know, the background. So I'm going to go to the effect button here and I'm going to select stroke 
and you can add um, you know stroke to this and make this white and it will still fly I'm gonna select the OK button and we have this all right using color in your design is pretty much up to you I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials like share and comment on this video I'll see you guys again in the next one peace